Hello and welcome back to Rongmar. In today's English lesson, we're taking a look at a new picture book for another book talk session. Just in case you've forgotten, book talk is when we look at a picture book and talk about some of the big questions that come from what we've read. Remember, these picture books aren't like the hungry, hungry caterpillar. There's a lot more going on in the pictures and also in the words. Our story for today is called Piggy Book by Anthony Brown. And you can see straight away from the cover that this is going to be a little bit of a different picture book. As always, we start off the lesson by looking at the cover and completing an OWI chart. Remember, O stands for what I observe. That's what you can see on the cover without using any I think words. It's something we can all agree is definitely there. The W stands for I wonder. What questions pop into your head about the story from looking at the cover? And the I stands for I infer because. What do you think is going to happen based on the clues that you can see on the cover? Take a few moments now to look at the cover closely, pause the video and fill in the OWI chart now. Well, there's lots of things that you could have observed, but I just went for the most obvious one, which was two boys and a man are getting a piggyback from a woman. I think we can all agree that that's definitely happening on the cover. For my wonder question, I said a few different things because I really got thinking when I looked closely. I said, I wonder why that lady is giving them a piggyback. I wondered as well when the book was set because it kind of looks a little bit old fashioned. And the last wonder question I had was, I wonder why there's so many weird looking flowers all over the wall. And finally, for my eye, I inferred a few things from the cover. One thing that I inferred was, I think that the boys go to a posh school because of the clothes that they're wearing. It kind of looks like a school uniform. Maybe these two children are really spoiled and that's why they're getting piggybacks around the house. I'm sure you came up with some great OWIs as well on your own chart. And we'll see as we go through the book that your questions get answered. Without further ado, let's jump into this book. Piggy Book by Anthony Brown Mr. Piggott lived with his two sons, Simon and Patrick, in a nice house with a nice garden and a nice car in the nice garage. Inside the house was his wife. Hurry up with the breakfast, dear, he called every morning before he went off to his very important job. Hurry up with the breakfast, Mum, Simon and Patrick called before they went off to their very important school. After they left the house, Mrs. Piggott washed all the breakfast things made all of the beds, vacuumed all of the carpets, and then she went to work. Hurry up with the meal, Mom! The boys called every evening when they came home from their very important school. Hurry up with the meal, old girl! Mr. Piggott called every evening when he came home from his very important job. As soon as they had eaten, Mrs. Piggott washed the dishes, washed the clothes, did the ironing, and then she cooked some more. One evening, when the boys got home from school, there was no one to greet them. Where's Mum? demanded Mr. Piggott when he got home from work. 
she was nowhere to be found. On the mantelpiece was an envelope. Mr. Piggott opened it. Inside was a piece of paper. What, what shall we do? said Mr. Piggott. They had to make their own meal. It took hours, and it was horrible. Next morning, they had to make their own breakfast. It took hours, and it was horrible. The next day, and the next night, and the day after that, Mrs. Piggott was still not there. Mr. Piggott, Simon and Patrick tried to look after themselves. They never washed the dishes. They never washed their clothes. Soon, the house was like a pigsty. When's Mum coming home? The boys squealed after another horrible meal. How should I know? Mr. Piggott grunted. They all became more and more grumpy. One night, there was nothing in the house for them to cook. We'll just have to root around and find some scraps, snorted Mr. Piggott. And just then, Mrs. Piggott walked in. Please come back, they snuffled. So Mrs. Piggott stayed. Mr. Piggott washed the dishes. And they all helped with the cooking. They actually enjoyed it. Mum was happy too. Okay, so what an interesting story that was. It took lots of twists and turns, and one thing that I noticed so much about it was the pictures in the story changed as the story went on. Did you notice all the little small changes, the pictures to do with pigs that started to emerge in the story? If you didn't, I really recommend you go back and look again for the clues in the pictures. They're everywhere. Even if you look closer at the cover of the story right now, you'll see that actually they're not flowers on the walls, they're little pig heads. And the light switch on the wall, it kind of looks like a pig face too. So there's lots of clues in the cover about what the story will be like. Just like you, I had a lot of questions popping into my head as I read that story. And I have a few that I'd like you to think about too. The first question that popped into my head was, do you think this story could be based on real life? And why do you think that? Remember, you can answer yes or no, as long as you can back it up with a little bit of evidence from the story. Pause the video and write down what your opinion on that question is. The second question that I started thinking about was something related to one of my wonder questions. And that is, when do you think this book was written? And do you think things have changed today? Or is this story still true for people living now? Pause the video and think about that question. Write down what your opinion is. The third and final question I have has to do with the two boys in the story. I was wondering, do you think that the little boys in the story are to blame for their bad behaviour? And depending on what you said, give me a reason why you think that. Do you think yes, they are to blame? Or no, they're just copying what they're seeing? Pause the video and write down your opinion. I'm very much looking forward to hearing what you think about those three questions and any other wonders that you had about this story. That's all we have time for today. Until next time, take care.